everyone. Welcome to tonight's Big Brother Canada chat. Oh my god. Hi. It's episode <laughs> Hi. 20. We're 20. tired. Yeah, we're really tired. Last time, a uh, hundred years ago, Elijah was voted out. I mean, it really was like, it was like a, week a week ago. ago. It was a week ago. And Avery became the new HOH. Mm -hmm. Can you believe it? Yeah, because we watched like a ton of digital dailies over the last 24 hours, and I feel like all I've been doing is watching the show. <laughs> yeah. Pretty well, that's because pretty much you, that's all you have been doing. Really. Yeah. So she became the new HOH, and she nominated, oh, surprise, surprise, Todd and Tola. She said they made it easy for her after their shenanigans during the movie night massacre. Uh, it's time for the POV comp. Let's get right to it. <laughs> I Arisa. mean, yeah, they left us on a cliffhanger last night, so they needed to just, like, get into it. So, POV comp's called Off the Grid. I this, thought this was a lot of fun. I actually enjoyed this a lot. <laughs> I thought it was super challenging for a change. And it was a good mix of skills. Canada usually brings the more difficult uh, competitions. Mm -hmm. Like, remember that uh, final HOH that they had that was, like, multi-level? Oh, had, like, yeah, going the they went, like, in the upside with... down? Yes. Yes. That I still was think amazing. about that every once in a while. Right? <laughs> that was amazing. I think it was, like, season five, I want to say? Canada usually brings the multi-level ones, too. Remember yeah. they had that mountain one, too? Yeah. Where they, yeah. <laughs> right? They do some really cool stuff. They do some pretty questionable stuff, too, like... The standing on the ice block. Yes, so yeah. I always think about that. One that one messes me up to think about. Like, that's so dangerous. That could have caused, like, permanent nerve damage. Really but dangerous. you know what? We'll do anything for you guys for TV. <laughs> I won't. I'll watch it, though. No, that's what I mean. That's what <laughs> oh, yeah. I think. Canada's like, we'll bring you bodily injury. It's not a problem. <laughs> Protect yourselves out there. Yeah. But, yeah, this comp was called Off the Grid, and you had to navigate... A nuclear... <laughs> or nuclear, as Avery said. I'm sorry, but it's nuclear! It's a nuclear plant. Mm -hmm. You had to avoid stepping or knocking over the uh, nu nuclear rods. Right. Would you say the, those were uranium or... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Uraniumium? <laughs> I hope not, because that would be bad. All right. Well, once you made it through the obstacle course of uranium rods, uh, you had to put together a puzzle. Blindfolded, veritably. Yeah, you could only do it with touch. You couldn't. You couldn't look at the puzzle. You had four places you could stick your hands through to like build this uh, puzzle. It was like one of those ant farm things. It reminded me of like a children's museum where you they have like the little hand holes yeah. for some stuff. <laughs> So you couldn't, cool. you couldn't see what it was. You had to just go by the shape of the pieces. I found this very interesting. I thought this mm -hmm. was a cool mechanic to add to a competition to make it more complicated. Oh, yeah. Also, just the fact of, like, sorry. <laughs> when they got past. It's been a long day. Yeah. When they got past the rods and it was time to do the puzzle and mm -hmm. they pulled the puzzle yeah. up, I was like, what? Yeah, that this was so pretty much cool. Fun. That was pretty cool. That alone, I was sold on it. Somebody needs a raise in, in Canada tonight. Yeah. All right. So Anthony wants the veto to be used to get Kayla out. There were so many different potential plans here. Yes. And so much came down to who won mm -hmm. this veto. But yeah, Anthony wants Kayla out because the alternative, if the veto was used, would probably be Lexus. Right. And he did not want that. So no. we saw before... The POV comp, he was already laying the groundwork to put he the target was on Kayla. planting the seeds. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, if Bailey wins, she wants to backdoor Lexus. Right. And what a coinkadink. If Lexus wins, she wants to backdoor Bailey. I mean, Kayla also wants that. Kayla was really yeah. pushing for Bailey to be, be, to be backdoored this week. Yeah. But when they showed the POV comp... Kayla said that she wanted to keep noms the same. I guess. I mean, whatever. <laughs> There's so much going on here. Who knows? Yeah. Todd was in the lead, though. He was the first one to make it through the nuclear obstacle course. He wasn't very good at the puzzle. You know who sucked? Lexus. Yeah, she was having a tough time in that uh, rod field. 
Because, like, if you hit a rod and you knocked it over, you had to go back to the beginning after oh. you reset it. At first, I was like, how do they know when to step? But you're, like, allowed to study it first, look at it, yeah. and then you put your shades back I on. I don't know how much studying it like that uh, would help. I think you just need to go through it and be like, all right, I get, I got to take one step Bigger here. step here, smaller step yeah, here. exactly. I got to bend down over here, yeah. I, you know. Lift the leg. Oh, lift the leg. So, <laughs> Bailey busted uh, through the puzzle. She did, yeah. A lot of people were having trouble with the puzzle. I think one of the things that went wrong for Kayla was that she had the pieces turned the wrong way. The wrong way, way yeah. But yeah. Bailey, she got it done and she won the veto. Whoa. Wow, she's on a roll right now, honestly. Well, Spicy V wasted no time in saying how much that she wanted Kayla out. Yeah, and you know why? Because Anthony told her she wanted Kayla out. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she fell for this so quickly. What's What is it that Anthony used to say all the time? If you stand for nothing, you'll fall for anything. <laughs> I guess she stands for nothing. You saw that from Hamilton. <laughs> I guess she stands for nothing. Yeah, I mean, I think also just like she will take any little excuse to target a woman and... Why? <laughs> what the hell, man? I don't know. <laughs> she wants a girl to win as long as it's her. Yeah. I mean, that's what it is. But, um, yeah, it did not take much convincing. I mean, she was already, like, pretty on board with this before the POV right. because of what Anthony was telling her. Yes. Basically, like, oh, before Elijah left, he told Kayla... No that, one wins against you. Right, and Kayla has been thinking about that. She's worried about it. And Anthony admitted in his diary room... That he is a big, fat liar. He said that was pretty much the only thing that was true out of what mm -hmm. he said. Everything else he kind of just, like, fabricated or, like, twisted things that she said. Yeah, right. that's what I thought. Just like he did to Janine. Dirty. Yes. Dirty. That's such a dirty way to play the game. I'm not for that. I mean, yes, you can tell, you can bend the truth a little bit, but he's just straight up made up blatant lies. I mean, it's definitely part of the game, but... I know, but... Let's I, keep in mind, he did lose unanimously his first time, so... We'll see what <laughs> happens this time. Yeah. All right, so Spicy convinces Avery that we need Kayla out. Basically by saying all the same stuff that Anthony said to her. She was just a little parrot, like, bah, I think that. <laughs> I mean, that's what happens. Anthony has these little scripts that he writes up for everybody mm -hmm. to try and get stuff done. And we see it also when he was talking to Alexis. He's like, all right, this is exactly what you say to Spicy. Right. Say um, the girls were trying to backdoor you, not Bailey. Well, that's what he says to Lexis. He's oh, right. like, hey, um, the girls wanted you out, and I'm making sure that's not happening. Right. This is what I need you to do to make sure it's Kayla and not you. Now go tell Spicy that and come back. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he was really pushing, like, tell Spicy that Kayla's been spending all this time with you mm -hmm. and trying to talk to you, and it's weird, and it's uncomfortable, Yeah, and uh, it's going to get Spicy paranoid. And, and Kayla is uh, working with the other side. Right, trying know. to get something going with Lexus and Tola. Lies! Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, but Spicy, she's eating it up. There was never a more loyal... Uh, to the soil of hot chocolate than Kayla. Oh, yeah. Kayla was 100% hot chocolate the whole time. The only alliance that she might have been more loyal to was hotter chocolate. <laughs> right. Which weren't very loyal to her. Right. So, yeah. Um, Avery, I mean, at first she was against it, but it did not take long to convince her. No. I'm just getting Vivek and Dennis flashbacks. This is Vivek all over again. Vivek 2.0 mm -hmm. and Spicy, do you think, is Dennis 2.0? <laughs> what do you mean? No, well, Dennis would be uh, Kayla. Oh, okay. Because she's getting put on the block. Right, 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 right. But yeah, I mean, what are you doing, Avery? Well, I, <laughs> I thought you meant, like, because Vivek is going to be Avery. Oh, no, but I do think home. that Avery, her time is coming. It is coming. And not quickly. just because she's the only person left standing in the portrait. <laughs> Say your theory. Well, I'm not, I didn't come up with this, but people online have pointed out that in the portrait, the, the cast photo that they have in the house, everyone who's standing, except for Avery, is, is out. Gone. Yes. Isn't that crazy? Do you think Avery will be next? 
She might be. I mean, there's a strong that possibility. That is just freaky. She's got some some people targeting her now. All right. Well. Anyway. Spice um, is pretty easily swayed. I mean, it's not like Anthony is that much of a mastermind because look at who he's working with. I mean, yeah. A bunch of donut holes. These people are pretty gullible. I um, mean, don't you remember Spicy Season? It was out of control. It was chaos. Yeah. <laughs> so, in order for this plan to go through, um, Spicy wants to make sure that Bailey is also on board. Right. Because Bailey is like, we need to take out Lexus, and Spicy's like, no, it needs to be Kayla. Well, I mean, Bailey's holding the veto, too, so, like... Right. They need to make sure that she's good with all this. Yeah. So, Spicy's way of getting Bailey is telling her, look, Kayla wanted you to be backdoored this week, which actually is it's true. true. <laughs> but Bailey was like, I don't believe this. Like, we're working together. Why would she do that? Like, it doesn't make sense. That was, like, one of the only truths. Yeah, that part is actually <laughs> true. <laughs> Spicy tells, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So then, um, it was like 30 minutes before the POV ceremony. Right. And Avery still needs, like, reassurance that she's making the right move here. So she's talking to Tola. Right. And she's like, all right, can you tell me, have you ever heard Kayla say anything bad about me? You know, have you ever heard her say my name and Tola's in a bad way? And Tola's like, mm, well, I could lie. She's like, no, 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 no don't, don't lie. <laughs> And he's like, okay, then no. Right. And she's like, oh, okay, thanks. So then Tola goes back to Anthony. <coughs> this is what I said. No, 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 no. Go back and tell her uh, that Kayla said that we have to go after people who uh, were HOHs. Yeah. Um, so so Tola, Tola goes back. marches his ass back in there, and he's like, I remembered something. <laughs> And then he couldn't even say what it was. She had to, like, say it for him. I'm sorry. And he was like, oh, yes, that's correct. If this is not a red flag, then what is? Tola just said, oh, I can't think of anything, and I'm not going to lie. Goes away, even if you don't know who he talked to. Right. The fact is, he went, talked to somebody, and came back, like, two minutes later, and suddenly he has something bad to say about Kayla. Yeah. Like, come on. That's so lame. That's ridiculous. Okay, well, it's time for the POV ceremony. All right. <laughs> and Bailey uses the POV on Todd, or Tad. Yeah, he was pretty excited about that. So, Bailey said something quippy about, like, I want to work with people who I have loyalty and trust with. Mm -hmm. And Avery gets up and said, someone has taken my loyalty and trust. Trust. <laughs> and thrown it in the trash. Oh, boy. Oh, no, not the trash panda. Was it Anthony? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was it spicy? Well, she thinks it was Kayla. Oh, my God. And Kayla is, like, no emotion, just, like, probably in shock. Yes, definitely in shock. I don't think she was expecting to go up on the block on, like, one of her biggest allies, HOH. So, of what? course, <laughs> Anthony is thrilled with He's himself. All like, <laughs> Again. Oh, my God. It's too much. The gloating is too much. It is too much. I, uh, <laughs> I mean, obviously, he made such a strong game move here, and he manipulated the hell out of these people. That is such a dirty move. But it's just hard to celebrate him making a big move like that when he's got to act like that after and just be like, I love myself so much. Like, I'm afraid of what I'm capable of. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, it's too much. Okay, whatever. All right, so Avery and Kayla are chatting, and Kayla is denying all of the lies that Anthony made up, as she should, because they never happened, except for maybe one. Yeah, she's like, I didn't say all that stuff about you and Spicy. It doesn't make sense. Like, let's get everybody in here. Let's house figure meeting. this out. House meeting. Okay, house meeting. House meeting tonight. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, um, it did not go well. For Kayla, because everyone was against her. Yeah. They were not believing anything that she was saying. I mean, there were the lies, and then there were the truths. And she kind of owned up to the truths. But when you own up to one thing, it kind of makes you look completely guilty. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, you just had, like, a lot of gaslighting going on, so that yeah. doesn't help. <laughs> no. Gaslighting's never helping. No. All right, so 
she pretty much gave up on campaigning pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, she did not throw hot chocolate under the bus. She never brought that up to she anybody. She was too classy to expose the hot chocks. Wouldn't be me. <laughs> me either. I would have burned that house down. Oh, yeah. That's... No. <laughs> so Kayla's basically like... Eh. Anthony is lying. I never said those things. I She's never, I never, 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 never. No, 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 no. <laughs> never. There was a lot of that. Yeah, I mean, I can't blame her, but it was kind of. Um, she could have done more. Yeah. I would have. I would have exposed the alliance for sure. But would they have believed her? I don't know. <laughs> but I, anyway. I would have told everything they ever would have told me. And I, I would have said, I'm not voting for any of you in the jury. <laughs> I don't even know if it would have helped for her to say. I'm pretty sure it wouldn't have, but. I don't care. You never I just, know. I would I have just, just done it for revenge. <laughs> I just would have thrown that grenade in there and left. Yeah. All right. Well, then it was time for the eviction vote. Oh. All right. Tola gets up there first and he's like, you all are amazing and I am not a liar. We just saw you lie. Yeah. <laughs> we just saw it. And then Kayla said, I'm not ready to leave. So I had personal conversations with each one of you. Mm -hmm. And uh, make a note of that. Sorry, KK. <laughs> yeah. So the vote was unanimous, five to zero, that Kayla is evicted. She hugged everyone, though. She kept it classy. She was very classy. She pulled out yet another micro mini skirt. <laughs> Girl, I was so nervous wearing those skirts. Give me a Q skirt. <laughs> From Survivor. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Kayla and Arissa are chatting, and Arissa's like, are you shocked or what? She's like, yeah, I'm shocked as shit. I think she's still trying to process what exactly happened there. She doesn't know what happened. <coughs> and Arissa was like, well, we saw you didn't expose hot chocolate. I would die for hot chocolate. She basically said, even though I'm leaving, there's still four other members in there. She mm -hmm. wants someone from hot chocolate to win. So she wasn't going to try and But they did her dirty up. too, you know? I would have just been like, I don't care. You're not going to win. <laughs> not on my watch. No. <laughs> so Arissa's like, who do you think uh, did you dirty? And she said, well, I think maybe it was Anthony and Alexis and... You're right, but Aris couldn't say that. I mean, she was right, but also, like, she got done dirtier by Spicy and yeah. Avery. I mean... I mean, I can't blame Avery as much as I spicy can Spicy. Spicy is going to sure shoulder spicy a lot of the knew. blame on this. Because yeah. she... Yeah. Come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, she was done dirty by a bunch of people this week. Not like she's some perfect game player either. I mean, she made a lot of mistakes. Why are you going to work with Spicy and Anthony? Come on. She's And on. Arissa said, well, why didn't you out them? And she said, because I'm not like that. I am. Good for her. <laughs> but right. also, okay. Uh, no goodbye messages, no. which is a bummer. No. So I don't know if they were showing them to Goose and Kayla, like, later on. Maybe doing them for jury. I think that they should do them. I think it's an important part of the game. Maybe they showed them when they did the interview. It's possible. The extended interview with Arissa. Yeah, who knows, but... All right, well, Arissa takes a grenade, pulls the pin out, and throws it in there and says to us, next week is a double. Yay! After we just had a veritable double. I'll take it. Let's do it's this. It's kind of like having a triple. Kind of. Yeah, almost. Let's get it. A triple double in two weeks. So who do you want to leave in the double? Uh, Anthony and Lexus. I was gonna say Anthony and Tola, but either way, right now definitely my, Anthony. My stats are: I would love to see Bailey win, mm -hmm. Todd in second, and for crying out loud, Tola in third. I can't believe I oh, just God. said that. I can't. I can't do that with Tola yet, but. <laughs> I can't. I'm not there. That's well. Who's your top three right now? Uh, my top three are Bailey, Todd, and <sighs> <laughs> if I have to choose, I'll say Avery. But like, that was Come really on. dumb. You know you want Tola up there. No, I don't. <laughs> That's how much I cannot stand what the other people are doing. That I would have Tola in my third position. Yeah. Well. 
That's Let us right. know who your top three are because I'd really like to know. Um, yeah. So <laughs> thank you all so much for watching. We will be back tomorrow to chat about the next Digital Daily. Hope they don't drop like five minutes. Hopefully it's back to normal tomorrow. Yeah. Whew. So everybody get some rest. Leave your thoughts in the comments. And until next time, much, much love. love.